Oh, you are more than fine. I'm, I'm actually, I'm vlogging right now. Say hi. Oh. <laughs> so, no, no, next time you watch my video, you're gonna, you can be featured. I'm just kidding. Yay. Oh my God. some leftover spaghetti because you gotta eat leftovers trying to be better about it this is a spicy marinara that I bought in a can I can't get my hair to do anything like it's too clean I feel like the girls will understand uh, like, sometimes when your hair is too clean you like literally can't do it do anything I washed it last night but anyway about three to four times a week in the mornings I will call or a friend or family will call me on FaceTime or FaceTime audio and we'll catch up that's like the best time because it's my morning and their evening and then right now i'm literally eating leftovers so i mean leftover spaghetti because i need it gone out of my fridge and then i have some yogurt with chocolate coconut granola but before i start eating i'm gonna have my ag1 athletic greens which is also today's sponsor but I started drinking this a couple of weeks ago. I'm definitely on a health kick right now. Obviously I am postpartum. My body has not felt like it's belonged to me. I'm also a stay at home mom. I know a lot of people think that I have a nanny or hope and I don't. That's why my content has been very sparse. Staying home is a full time job. I never know how much time I'm working with these days. To me it tastes like pineapple coconutty tropical, which is very surprising because you would think it would taste like green. Between being a full time stay at home mom and attempting to manage my YouTube and other social media channels, it's really, really hard to find the time for everything. And I, I try to recognize that that's impossible. So small things make a big difference and getting vitamins, minerals, nutrients in that support my immunity, my energy, my gut health um, is just helpful and this just makes it a lot easier. So instead of having coffee first thing in the morning like I used to do, I will have my AG1 Athletic Greens and try to get done a few chores around the house and I feel like it just starts my day a lot better. And I just have a different kind of energy and I'm not crashing from my coffee, milk, and sugar and then we'll reserve that for like later on in the day. To get a one year supply of vitamin D and five free individual travel packs with your first purchase, use a link in my description. And although it probably sounds counterproductive, uh, having some yogurt and granola and spaghetti for breakfast, when you're a new parent, you just kind of eat whatever's easy and available in the fridge. So this is my breakfast.
guys remember watching my pregnancy announcement video and I cried because I was like scared to be a mom? I love it. I think it's so much fun. The best way for me to describe it is that life sparkles a little differently now. It truly does. I don't even want to cry. It's a really fun chapter of life to be in. Like you smile, like he's smiling at me and he has like little teeth and it is so cute. Skincare. I did my skincare routine last night, but I also wanted to share a couple of things that um, I'm really loving right now. I was in Hiroshima and I went to a Korean beauty store. I was very overwhelmed on what to get, but I really like these. It's one, one day's you. I love, obsessed, obsessed with this right now. It feels so freaking good. Daily brightening and moisturizing pack contains calamansi extract, vitamin, vitamin, derivative, and propolis extract with brightening effects for making a bright and vital skin. I don't know, but it smells so good. I've never seen or heard of this before, but I really like it. Then I go in with my regular skincare. I'm 31 years old now, or about to be, and skincare is the one thing I'm so glad I started investing in when I was a little bit younger, like in my 20s. Okay, okay. I forgot because I'm like distracted. I also like this vitamin C. I don't know if this is kosher or not, but I'm gonna mix it in with my moisturizer. Sure, let's see. Skincare for me is so important. Like, it just makes me feel good. And I feel like I'm taking care of myself. And my focus on skincare is preserving my skin. Not, wow, that sounded so weird. Not. Um, I want to preserve my skin where it is as best I can. Not try to turn the clock back. My goal is preservation not reversing time. I lost the lid to this, but this is the sunscreen I'm using, the Elta MD UV Daily. It's the broad spectrum SPF 40. This is the tinted one, but to be honest, I think that this is too dark for me. I wish I had just gotten the regular one, but I'm gonna use it because I bought it. And then once this is up, I'm gonna switch back to their regular SPF. Like I think the color just might not be for me. I don't really know what my plans are today. I try to only make one plan a day. That was the best advice any, like one of my friends, her name's Michelle, she gave me that advice as a new parent. Just like one, one goal a day, one thing you wanna do. And if you get that thing done, that's a win. And then anything outside of that is just like a bonus. I'm a less is more kind of gal. So this is the concealer I'm using for spot treatment. My goal today is filming. And filming is actually already taking a lot out of my daily routine. And luckily I do not have to cook dinner tonight because my husband cooked dinner yesterday. So we have leftovers for tonight. This is my holy grail beauty item right now. I just already know this is gonna be like the next big exception. It's called Hymish. I got this at the Korean beauty drugstore. This is the wand. It looks harmless, but this is a weapon. I paid, I think nine or $12 for this mascara and it's the blackest mascara I have ever used in my life. This is the first coat. This mascara only comes off with warm water. So I've worn this to the gym. I've worn it through the freaking heat in the summertime here and it like doesn't come off unless I use warm water in the shower and when it does come off, it comes off like a dry, like a glue. Comes off. I don't know how they did that. If you're looking for a new mascara that's like under $20, you're gonna wanna get this. I will link it in my Amazon storefront. This is my last, um, Korean beauty find that I'm obsessed with. This is called Rom and Indro. I honestly have no idea what this is, but it's a juicy lasting tint, number 25 in Bear Grape. So I used to be obsessed with the YSL lip gloss tint things, but they're like 38 US dollars. So I stopped buying them because they're 38 US dollars. 
I think I paid $12 for this and it's just as luxurious. Um, and look at this color. It's like my lips, but better. So I'm also going to link this because I'm obsessed with it. It has like a fruity smell, which is kind of strong, but I don't mind because it doesn't last very long. And the gloss is so beautiful. It's not super sticky. It feels very hydrating and then it'll like stain my lips. So as it wears off, it colors my lips this color. To round up this entire situation, these are the three Korean beauty items that I recently got that I'm obsessed with and I will also link in the description in case you want to try them too. Also, this is my new camera. It's the Sony ZV E10. It's my new vlogging camera, so I'm trying to get used to it. Like this flips this way, so you can like see yourself. Like, let me know what you think of the quality. I'm still fiddling with it and if you can hear the sound and audio okay. I had to upgrade my camera because let me show you this crap I've been filming on. I've literally had this camera since 2019, like right before we moved to Japan. Like it still films, but it's broken. Like I can't carry this around. So it's my new vlogging camera and I really like it so far. Okay, um, let's move on to the next thing. Look how cool this vending machine is. You can get gyoza, chili sauce, Hiroshima gyoza, raw frozen dumplings, chicken skin with sauce. I love that it smells like sauce. Eight skewers, 20 skewers, five skewers. I think this means like fried chicken. I'm gonna have to come back maybe on my way out of here and try this sometime. So it's 151. Like everything is closed. I'm just trying to go get lunch. The place I want to go to, it's right here at the train station, the JR Iwakuni station, and I'm going to Veggie Trip. Um, but it's just weird because so many restaurants downtown are closed right now. This is where I'm going to lunch. It's called Veg Trip. They have two different locations, um, but this one's more like a full restaurant. So I'm gonna go inside and check it out. Ooh, this looks so good. It looks like steak, avocado, and egg. Last time I was here, I got this. It's their curry set. They're also known for their fruit smoothies. All oh, these look so good. A mocha latte, which looks really good. I got it iced because it's so hot out. And then this is my lunch. It's like a brisket. I don't know, I might have made that up. Some kind of steak um, with egg, avocado, tomato. It looks like ginger and rice. Oh yeah, there's rice under there. cold plate which may weird some people out but I really like it you kind of get used to it in Japan it's like really nice on a hot day mm. the avocados are perfect too that's nice because you can pick up the beef 
like Emily Mariko style with the rice in the center. Mm. And then my ice latte. It's my afternoon pick me up. It's a little watery. It kind of just tastes like coffee with chocolate in it versus espresso with milk. The lunch is really good. Mm. Together we can beat the coronavirus. This sign actually looks kind of new. In case anybody was wondering what this looks like here in Japan still. Don't forget to wear a mask, wash your hands, and keep social distancing. Guys, it's actually the next day. I had to cut shorming, shorming? Shorming? Where did that come from? I had to cut filming short yesterday. Just some stuff kind of happened and I had to get home, but we're gonna go shopping again, take two. I'm actually filming today for a shopping video where I'm gonna show you guys souvenirs I like to buy myself and or send home to family and friends. So make sure you keep an eye out for that video. It'll be up by the end of this month. Let's go back to Fuji Grand, like a grocery store, an arcade. There's, it's like a shopping center and things like that, but I'm specifically going to the 100 yen store. So let's go ahead and cut, cut there. On the fifth floor where I like to go shopping because there's an arcade and the 100 yen store, there's also this little padded play area. So if you have kids, especially really little ones, you can come use this space. Right now we're shopping at Kandu, which is the 100 yen shop. It's on the fifth floor of Fuji Grand. But Kandu is also a chain, so you can find this in a lot of places all over Japan. But yeah, it's a 100 yen shop, so everything is at or around 100 yen. And with the exchange rate right now, that makes it like super affordable. But they have so many different things here. You can get stationery, different craft items, makeup, home accessories, things for bento boxes. So we're gonna shop around and see what we can find. Halloween decorations out right now. This little cat is so cute. I feel like these are all like really cheesy, but also in a way really adorable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like a little llama. Donkey llama. I don't know what this is, but this is so cute. Oh, this is a coaster. These are cute. Oh, I love these. These are for like winder, winder, window decorations. <laughs> Look at these little cat like capes. These are so cute. Halloween pet costumes. Oh, these are adorable. Halloween bibs for babies. Those are fun. These magnets are so cute. Their arms bend up like this. It's a magnet and it can hold things like a toothbrush. I love Japanese masking tape. It's always so beautiful. Ooh, this one's so pretty. Look how freaking cute. This is, it's a croissant cutlery rest. I found a lot of really cool, really cute things for myself and to mail off to friends. Um, so I'm gonna go check out and I'm gonna show you the rest of what's on this floor because it's really cool. Also on the fifth floor of Fuji Grand, they have this area which is called Amuse Park. This is actually a really great place to come if you have kids or if you're an adult to play games, especially on a rainy day. And after school, this is always like really popular and busy with like middle schoolers and high schoolers before they go home. Kids over here, they have photo booths 
and then gachapan this is like a really like a famous and popular thing in japan for like collecting miniatures and then over there they just have like an area where you can sit and lounge and rest gachapan is a capsule toy store so you put money in the machines and then each one has like a different theme so these are really popular in japan and people will collect them um, and they're like literally like stores just like this like rows of them but i'm actually gonna see if i can find one that's bread themed and also just show you some of the interesting ones that i can find or like a cute onigiri ball so you can get one with salmon this is like sausage and fish row this one is different rice rings this one you are essentially collecting meat on a stick brianna gigante I actually have no idea who this is, but apparently you can collect her in the many different forms. I found one with different cute little bread collectibles. Sliced bread, croissant, uh, I cannot read that, kanji, anpan, uh, pretzel, and I think this is like a curry bun. So let's see, the price is 300 yen. Let's see what we're gonna get. Oh, that did not sound good. I'm hoping for a croissant. Ah! Oh no! I did! I did get the croissant! Oh, that's so cute! I thought it was a sliced bread because I saw this, but I got the croissant. <gasps> so adorable. These are always recycled at the capsule store, so you don't have to keep them. They'll get reused. And this is what this one looks like. Yay! 